Good day, this is David Darrow of Everyday Paintings. You can find my work at www.everydaypaintings.com. It's been too long since my last paint cast, so I thought what I would do is talk through the pictures that were taken last evening when I did a demonstration at a local art gallery. I did a head portrait as a demonstration just to show my methods and um, pictures were taken all the way through it so what I'm gonna do is just play those pictures for you and talk through it tell you what I'm doing what I'm thinking doing the demonstration last night was really a last-minute decision and I didn't have time to pull together uh, important materials like a model so I got a, a photograph that I had taken of Darren who was a model I worked with before in a life drawing course that I was teaching. Darren's got a fantastic face for painting in my opinion because his the skeletal structure and his musculature both show really well because he's such a lean person. The surface that I worked on was stretched duck canvas. Uh, it's 11 by 14 and it already had an acrylic primer on it. I put on two additional coats of matte medium which is also acrylic just to seal the surface uh, from any further absorbency I want my paint to glide across it and I also want some of that weave to be filled in so it's, it's a slightly smoother surface than just bare canvas let me quickly run through my palette so you can know what colors I'm working with I normally work with uh, many more colors than this on my palette maybe twice the number with uh, a uh, warm and a cool of each color. Starting here at the bottom left and working my way around clockwise, this is cadmium yellow pale, then cadmium red light, alizarin crimson, yellow ochre. Uh, now, this one is called transparent oxide red. Then there is raw umber. And then finally up here at the top is uh, ultramarine blue. And then finally titanium white. And I use uh, Winsor Newton's version of that because it's a nice stiff, it's a fairly stiff white. And then uh, just for the initial beginning of the painting, and I do this on a lot of paintings uh, when I want things to flow really well, I use what I call a Richard Schmid medium. If uh, you're familiar with Richard Schmid, he does great work and he he has a he either noted yeah he, it was on one of his videos he noted uh, how he uh, prepares his medium and it is done in parts it's one part demar varnish one part stand oil which is a, a highly thickened uh, honey like linseed oil and then five parts turpentine it's all mixed together into a nice little medium What I like about this medium is that when you mix it with paint, as I have done here, uh, you, it flows onto the canvas real quickly and easily. I just spread this on in a matter of a few seconds. Uh, and then you'll see in this next picture, I, I, um, I wipe it down with a rag. So now it's a very thin coating. Now this will become, it'll dry fairly quickly and become kind of sticky. And it's, it's, it's a feeling that I like when I paint. So I'm going to begin the drawing now. Now in this case I am drawing with paint on a paintbrush, but the, the process is the same as if I were drawing with charcoal. And really the way I paint is I put something down and then make a judgment about it. In most cases I find that what I put down is wrong and so I have to correct it. So for me doing an, an oil painting, especially a portrait, it is a an extended series of corrections to a, a bad drawing or a bad painting so that's what you'll see here and then when I get to right here you can see that the sunlight has now started streaming in the window at a low angle and it's gonna be causing problems for making judgments about color so I, uh, I take everything and I move it over about eight feet and continue the demonstration here you can see that I've begun to add color now I'm making up this color and it's all from my own personal experience and memory of what uh, people's faces look like. I don't remember Darren's particular coloring, but 
in general I want to keep uh, the cheek and nose area redder than the forehead and chin. In the forehead I tend to go a little bit yellower. You can see that I'm modeling some of the shapes here. I'm putting a bluish cast to the hair uh, on purpose because Darren, though he is very young, is uh, an early graying person. So um, I'm, I remember that from knowing him. So I'm trying to make that uh, look believably like gray hair with, uh, since it's short hair, there's going to be a little bit of his flesh color showing through in spots too. Now it's time to see how his head is going to fit into the background. So I quickly splash in some background oil paint and uh, that helps me with the values as well. I continue with the details right on through to the end of the painting and there you have it. You can see all of my everyday paintings in gallery form at www.darrowart.com. That's my last name with art. And then click on Paintings and Everyday Paintings, and you'll see a whole gallery pop up. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope it's been somewhat informative to you.